Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from A0E0L, titled, How much cheaper does it get? Is the price negotiable? It's $2. I'm not sure why they're trying to lowball on $2. It's literally $2. This next one is by El Patron, titled, Give Me Your Car or Else. Hi, a friend of yours named Blank sold you my father's Civic. Last six of VIN is 071617, and I'm trying to see how I can get the vehicle back because it's the only thing that I have of my father since he passed away eight years ago. I do have. Sends pick. Sends another pick. I miss it, so how would I have to give up to get my father baby back? It's not for sale, but money talks. Make an offer. You know how much these things are going for now. It was my father's. That's why I was asking for it, because it means value to me. It's all I have left of my father, because the only money I have is $1,500. Sorry, bro. I can't help you. I got offered 6 k and turned it down. That's my father's car! So you're telling me I can't have my father's car back? That's not right, man. Just saying, you'll regret it. Like, the man passed away, and that's all my father left for me. I wouldn't have bugged you if it didn't mean a lot to me, but it does, and I have pictures that it was mine before you had it. I can't do nothing for you. Good luck. Wow, okay fine, I'll call my lawyer then. You asked for it, not me, because the will has the car in it for me, so keep playing me. Okay, let me know if you need my info for your lawyer. If the will had the car in it, then the car had to be in your father's possession. My guess is it wasn't in the will, you're using that as a cheap cop out to try to get something that doesn't belong to you. This next one is from Little Coffee Fairy, titled, Author thinks four-star reviews aren't good enough. Glad to see most of the Goodreads assholes still giving four-star reviews to show they're super tough reviewers who need to, like, fall in love, you know? Anyway, no one likes you. Grow up! Just finished this too. 4.5 rounding up, working on review. Yes, such a good book. I also gave it a 4.5, but rounded down. You can't expect to get 5-star reviews if you're not putting out 5-star material, at least to the consumer that you're putting that material out for. You can't get mad at your consumer either because eventually you'll run out of consumers for your content. This next one is by Kitten451, titled, This person is upset that a free pattern was added to the cart while no payment information was collected. When I see free pattern, I don't expect to have to add it to a cart. Zero dollars or not, makes no difference. Not impressed. I'm sorry you aren't impressed with free stuff. I don't collect any payment information. What do you expect? Just because you see something that says free, that means there's no work required on your end? Goodness gracious, you had to add it to the cart. You couldn't do that, so you complain. This next one is from Robin's Greg, titled, Buying a Processor to Compensate for a Broken Graphics Card. Sounds like a you problem. Ryzen 7 3700X, 190 pounds. Can you swap for a Ryzen 5 2600 and plus 100 cash? <laughs> Are you sometimes traveling through Bolton? <laughs> hey, sorry. I already have another processor. I understand. You travel sometimes through Bolton? I'm asking as I don't have a car. <laughs> Maybe you want to swap for broken RTX 2080 card? You can sell it easily over 200 plus. <laughs> I'm asking as my card died and I can't buy any GPU now, so I'm thinking to upgrade at least CPU to play games on my old card. I understand. Will you be so kind to take 150? I know it's not much and did not want to offend you, but I'm a bit stuck without GPU card at this moment and can't spend Mopre. Just so you're aware, the 3700X doesn't have an integrated GPU so wouldn't be useful without a graphics card. 
I think it's the same for all the X series cards. And I would take 180 at the least. I have a number of other offers higher than 150. Five months I'm without GPU. <laughs> I'm stuck with broken card. Can't buy new as there are no in stores. And if I will purchase CPU from you, I will be stuck with my old one as I don't think anyone will buy it knowing Ryzen 5000 power. I totally understand your point and can only add that selling to me for 150 you have cash in hand and no worries after as I'm aware that this is a used part and have no warranty and I will not bother you under any circumstances after transaction. With buyers, you risk complications as people don't realize that when they buy something that can stop working anytime or don't work with their motherboard, they may break pin when handling, etc. Please let me know if you will decide to sell it for 150 I can have cash in 15 minutes and I live in Bolton so transaction may take 20 seconds. <laughs> and you will never hear from me again, except gratitude. I mean, you're going on and on and on. They already said they had offers over 150 So the bottom line is, if you can't do what they're asking, then why should they do what you're asking? Our next one is by, here for the hentai, 6969, titled, A person hit me up on Facebook, lying about the cost of at tractor supply. $45, Rotella. It's available, but 45 is the lowest I can go. Tractor Supply has it for 26 <laughs> Good luck with that. Okay, thanks. If it's 26 there, go get it there. Show's pick. It's definitely not $26. This is one of those cases where the beggar says they can get it elsewhere and it's just proved wrong almost instantly. All you had to do was just a quick search to see the beggar was full of it. This next one is from Caterade999, titled, I applied for what I thought was a part-time job, but apparently they're looking for an intern to work part-time hours. Hi, thanks for applying for the UI UX intern role. We're a startup based out of Beggarsville. Our founding team have backgrounds in investment banking and private equity, while being educated at Ivy League institutions. The role is unpaid, remote, and flexible. This is not a 9 to 5 role, rather it is all project based, which we expect will require between 25 to 35 hours a week. I feel like in this day and age, internships should be illegal, given the fact that the cost of living is ridiculously high and most people, well not most, but a lot of people are making minimum wage, which doesn't even constitute a living wage, internships are an absolute insult. And our final one is by Indian Fatty, titled, Neighbors want free access to swimming pool as they had verbal agreement with previous owner. My neighboring family keeps claiming that they had a verbal agreement with the previous owner to use our swimming pool and don't take any subtle hints. How can I stop them from using without involving any police as we are outside an HOA? Considering they seem to have a problem with respecting your property regardless of whatever previous agreements they had, I would suggest putting a gate up around your pool if it doesn't already have one and if it does, I would suggest putting a lock on that gate and making sure they don't get a key. If they proceed to scale the gate, I would proceed to put barbed wire around the top and maybe they'll get the hint. Alright. That's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.